Hello. Hey, look at that. All the camera stuff worked on the first try. Good stuff. Okay. So, here is Artemis so far. Um, I did a little bit of work on her off stream yesterday just because I wanted to make sure I get her done this weekend. Um, we've been working on her for a while. So I did some touch-ups here and there. I did the, the metal thing and the little metal things. Um, so everything has paint on it now, so that's good. Uh, I didn't glue her onto the base and call her done last night because I just kind of wanted to see her in the daylight and see if there's anything I want to change. And I don't know yet. <laughs> like, there's some things I'm not happy with, but I'm also like, no, I just kind of want to be done now, but we'll see. Let's, let's, let's look her over and see what's up. Hey, Poe, can I help you, sir? One up on the bed? One up on the bed? One up here? No, you're just gonna be a little weirdo? Okay. Oh, he's gonna be a little weirdo. Yeah. So, so what could be touched up on this? I'm reasonably happy with most of it. I'm just trying to figure out is there a way I can make this black and white like I could with my old one? Oh, there we go, oh, there we go, cool. Maybe you can touch up the little metals there a little bit. I still kind of hate the quiver, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's really worth, worth messing with anymore. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna touch up that metal, maybe we can touch up the quiver a little bit more. Yeah, let's just do some touch-ups on a couple things. Maybe some of the skin too. Okay. So let's start off with that, and then we'll maybe start a new project. Oof, don't want to go too saturated. Go back to 50, 50. I can't get it to 50. It's or 49 or 51. Can I just type it? I can just type it. I wonder if I can set up a top key for that. I should check that out. Oh, I got it. A bunch of things happened over the last few hours, and I don't know why. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Got some followers and stuff when I was offline. And here's the base still. I was debating putting more stuff on it, but again, kind of at the point where I just kind of want to be done. So we'll put her on and see how we feel about it, see if we think it needs more stuff or not. Um, what else? Bonk the camera, good job. Uh, so we, we did Storm a while ago, but I painted Mystique yesterday uh, just as like a little uh, break kind of project. I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. Uh, just simple, clean, fun little chibi. Uh, the reason why they're both on here is because I still need to do my uh, final top coat on them. I'm just gonna wait until I finish up uh, the last two. We got a Wolverine and Magneto left, and then we're done with the core box. Trying to have them all done by the time. It's a little early, it's like two hours early. So uh, my whole my whole schedule is uh, flipped around this week. We, Anna and I usually hang out on like Wednesdays and Saturdays at least. Um, but this week we did Tuesday, Friday, because uh, we had fancy dinner on Friday. So we, and she has a bunch of other stuff going on this week. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I didn't have my normal Sunday morning stuff, so I just ate and walked Poe and I have a lot of load of laundry going on in the background. Oh, it just finished, whoops. I probably should have just waited to fold that before I started streaming. Oh well, here we are. 
Okay, let's do a few touch-ups on the metals. touch-ups on them yesterday, but still not happy. Okay, is that all my paints that I need? Yeah. So I finally got some of the expansion colors to start working a little bit better from Chimera. So I'm happy. It turns out the guide was correct when it says you should add some black or some white to it. Because um, I did that. And it worked a lot better. So I was using this one, which is from the expansion set, which I was having some issues with earlier. But I started mixing it with some black and white for the metals to try out, I don't know, for uh, this metal here. It's kind of more bronzy-ish kind of whatever the hell. Just to try something different. start streaming a little earlier. I don't know if I'm going to do a longer stream today or just kind of the same length and end a little earlier. Um, I don't know. Why not? I uh, was watching Severance before streaming today and I finished it this morning and I'm very sad because it ends on a big cliffhanger. So they better make a second season. Moon Knight 
Got our product on that. Very good. that uh, apparently like all we we like to go to the same places a lot just because it's easy uh, and they're good and like so we normally go to them on like Wednesdays and Sundays apparently that's like the perfect day to go because when we went to our normal places on Tuesday and uh, uh, Saturday this week they were a nightmare I know that in, I guess, nine minutes, uh, over on the Broken Anvil channel, Ninjana and Miniac are going to be playing a game of it, because their Kickstarter starts in two days. Starts on Tuesday. I'm most likely going to back it for a faction. Um, we'll see. That I've still not gotten my uh, stuff from their last Kickstarter, and it seems like they kind of forgot about it for a bit. Um, I understand that they're trying to get this new thing off the ground, and that's kind of what their goal has been, but it still kind of sucks. <laughs> Speaking of uh, elf archers, my order from Black Crow shipped with the new elf archer bust and something else. So that's exciting. Okay, so if I lean that far forward, I mean, shot. So let's not lean that far forward. Simple lens. and start working on her skin a little bit more. Um, so we want two Dane Red.
Mumford. How are you? You want me, want me to show you the whip of the, the, the relay figure? Here it is. Wow. It's going to great. There you go. Chicks. I do have it primed up and sitting over there off camera, along with a base for it. Oh dear. <laughs> how, how are your games? Your, your games and beers going? Having fun? I assume yes. I won't lie though, the, there was one little itty bitty part that's not part of the figure but part of something else uh, that I had to, I had to uh, improvise on because it was a pain to clean up and part of it broke and then it flew away. So I sculpted a new thing for it. <laughs> Oops. Otherwise, the figure's great. Be in frame, please. There we go. Going around, if I stay in focus, going around, pushing a few things. Um, good or glued on to the base. See how we feel about things. And then we'll pick a new project. Garbage attempt at black lining. Let's clean that up. <laughs> Let's try that again.
Nuggy stable today. seeing what else I want to touch up. I think there's some details on here that probably should have been, oops, focus please. There you go. Details on here that probably should have been gold. I don't care. <laughs> We're, yeah, let's just, let's make them a little bit more highlighted. Yeah, we can call those good. No one's ever gonna see them, so whatever.
Okay. Let's put some little highlights on the face. And on the bone. And on all the other skin. See how she looks on the base. Thanks, space toy. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm debating if she's done or not right now. Uh, I feel like there should be more stuff on like the base, but I also don't want to go crazy. What are you going to watch? Hey, thank you very much for the raid, Diddy. I was, uh, I was watching Severance before I started today. Highly recommend it. Um, hey, we are, we are, you, you caught me mid deciding if we're done with this project or not. She's not gluting yet, which is why she's rocking around. What, what were you working on? Thanks. I don't know. I, I'm mostly happy with her. I became a little unenamored with her last night while I was working on her some, but mostly happy with it. Um, I guess mostly just say I want to be done with the project is what the, the, the feeling set in last night. Um, I do like the sturdy down moss stuff though. I am gonna I am gonna use that on so many projects now. Start a new model. Nice. What did you start? If you got any whips, feel free to share. And as usual, uh, uh, anyone who came along with Diddy, if you're working on anything fun, feel free to throw in chat. Also, let me do a shout out for Diddy. Yeah, I think I saw your your Nurgle sorcerer whip dude on your Instagram space. So it's looking really nice. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, space for your space for your stuff's awesome. Um, yeah, if you don't follow Space Toy on Instagram, you should definitely go do that. Um, I really like his copy of um, the Witchhorn bust. Um, it's, the red on it is a plus, and just like it's his yeah, he has a very cool like I don't know how to describe it. It's like. A very painterly illustrative style is how I describe Space Toy stuff. It's very cool. Highly recommend checking his stuff out. Um, or their stuff, sorry if uh, incorrect. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna just set her down and decide if she's done this evening. Like I was saying, I'm still debating if I want to put more garbage on the base. So we got those. Where did it go? There did it go. We got a bunch of like brass etching plants and stuff like this that I could paint up and put on it. I don't know, it feels like maybe too much. I think it's fine. Maybe I should just try to put some like different grass tufts in there to add a little bit of variation. Let's actually let's mess around with that for a little bit. See see how I feel about that as we drop that brass etch thing into the abyss. Cool. Uh, so let's see where are my grass tufts?
Yeah, maybe not. I'm thinking of like just like one or two things just for like some some variation. We'll see. We're we're gonna play around with this for like a couple minutes and then call it good. Definitely don't want big tufts, so set that aside. Hey, let's pop this open. Um, so I do have more of those of various sizes. Um, let's see. Let's make sure this doesn't have my address on it. It does not. It just has my name, which is on my Instagram, so that's okay to show. <laughs> Yeah, is this the tough one or the, the plant one? Yes. So these are from that Russian shop that I keep forgetting the name of that you can order through the UK now for reasons, obviously. Um, so here's the sheet that that one came from. So they're all kind of big. We got some ivy, which isn't for this base. We got some smaller little from, 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 thingy, from, 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 from. These might be good. You can play around with one of those in a second. Definitely not that. Definitely not the ivy. And you got these little itty bitty ones too. Which I don't think is the right kind of thing for this. I thought I had... Oh, well, that's the paper is what I'm thinking of. So I also have the uh, vellum plant things too. I buy too many basic things. It's a problem. Let's put these aside. Let's grab. These ones that are sitting up next to it. Or the, the little one, the little, the little itty bitty ones with the, the three leaf, three, three leaf things. Oops, there's my name. These ones. We can mess around with both. Right here. Let's look at what the itty bitty ones. Yeah, we can mess around with those. Yeah, the tufts might be redundant. Let's ignore tufts. We're good on tufts for once. Wait, where did those come from? Where are those down there? Where are those? Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh oh yeah, it's a little goblin guy. Yeah, let me let me pop this open. Itty bitty hand. Properties, Safari, there we go. Okay, and then I can show that. Hey, it's all cropped and everything. Tweet. This is really cool. I like all the like the blue and green skin. Is the is the rust painted by hand or is it the the, the dirty down stuff? Cool. I like little gobbles. Little gobble guys. Okay. Yeah, we also got a bunch of these um, from Mig. Let's try, let's try messing with the brass ones, for starters. 
see how we like those. Nice, very cool, it looks great. Try messing with these first. Turn my exacto. Let's move the palette off the side for now. Okay. Let's try one of these three furs. How about this one? Probably gonna yeah block it with my fat head. Here, I'll do it off the side so at least you can see the mini, <laughs> and not my head. Let's see. Uh, which one? This one. Just gonna have to. Obviously, I'm just kind of messing around with these for the first time. But maybe just trim them out. Uh, probably grab some wax paper and see if we can just temporary glue it to that so we can paint it up if we end up deciding this looks cool. Hey, Keegan, how are you doing? Just very thin brass, so. for comic releases, nice. tool that makes this a lot easier but for now we have my Junko snips and an exacto knife <laughs> into something naturalish looking as we drop it. <laughs> Drop it 
it again. This is going great. Nice. You know, the little, little vampire dudes and skeletons. Fun little minis. So we're gonna have this kind of coming out of here, maybe. I do think these add like kind of a nice little variety, especially if we get them painted up green. Okay, so let's. Let's clean it up a little bit better first. Let's see if we can clean up a little bit better. Or maybe just give up and cry. That's also an option. the base and then paint on primer by hand. That might be the best option. So let's give that a try. Let's remove the model, <laughs> set her aside before we screw her up. Let's grab some glue and let's live a little. Uh, so this is the base that she came with. Um, so a f while ago, I was sculpting a huge base for her. I think I posted whips in the... You know, let me see if they're still in there. Why is there water everywhere? Probably because the bottom of the wet palette was wet. Probably. Anyways. Um, let me see if I can grab photos of that. Because I don't have it anymore because I tore it apart. <laughs> Um, cause I hated it. Uh, but we did work on it on stream a little bit and like it was good exercise in sculpting. Uh, let's see, that's that one. Probably have pictures on my phone and that'll probably be easier to pull up, but instead we're scrolling through here. Was it really this far back? There's the dwarf. I guess I never posted them in here. I did not post them in here. So here, let me, uh, I should have a photo on the phone. I can do the old, oh, uh, grandpa thing. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Here's, here's what dinner was on Friday. Here it is. So that's the stupid base I was working on for her. I think I did, maybe I didn't take a picture of it all sculpted up. So I guess the only record of it is on stream. So, uh, but yeah, I did this huge temple base. Uh, and sorry, Crip. And I didn't care for it. So, tore it apart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Just rem a reminder, that's a mutually agreed upon thing, so it's probably gonna be like a 35 mil figure or something. Just seeing where we want it. That makes sense. Yeah, let's let's experiment putting a few more on so we can kind of get the whole composition going um, before we start gluing things and regretting. Not that I've ever done that. 
So let's get a two for one. How about you? Here, let's cut on the actual texture side. So as you can see, there's some nice little leaf textures on there with the little veins of the leaves. And the other side is just flat. Um, does it say, okay, yeah, there's the shop's name. It's Chick, Chickow. Chico, Chicao, Chicao. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Paralysis. Okay. How about you? Yeah, I've been trying to figure out like more, I don't know, Twitch viewer things. Oops, I think my fat head was in the way. Um, nice, yeah, I love Carbonara. I was debating making it this week, but I didn't end up making it because we were eating enough rich foods this week. Um, uh, Alex, as in the, the, the French YouTube guy, Or something else. I've not bought any cookbooks recently. Uh, I did back a Kickstarter for another art book though. Um, I'll have to pull up what it is. Someone posted it somewhere and I was like, oh that looks pretty. And then there's like a limited edition in the Kickstarter that makes the book even prettier looking. So, okay, cool. You have to let us know how it is if you haven't gotten it already. Otherwise, you can let us know how it is now. Yeah. I've been, I've been really into getting art books lately. I've shown a few of them on stream. I think they're like really nice to have as like inspiration for uh, your miniature pieces or just any art that you're making in general. And they also just look nice sitting around. Um, so I got the Brahm one and I have the Tyler Jacobson one and then a couple of uh, <laughs> weeb ones. I have like the Studio Trigger Artist one that I picked up while I was in Japan because Studio Trigger is one of my favorite studios for animation. Okay. Nice. Love a good banh mi. I need to find like a good uh, like lemongrass tofu recipe because there's a Vietnamese place by me, and they have really good tofu for their fried rice and such. And I need to figure out how to make that in my life so I don't keep having to go there for it. <laughs> what, what's, what's so good? Studio Trigger's great. I can grab the art book in a second. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I like that their 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 animations like top notch, and their studio their stories are always like over the top, but like have a, a good like heart to them. A plus. Let's add at least one more. talked about this a lot before but whenever I'm doing natural things always try to add them in odd numbers oops it's fine 
Um, even numbers tend, at least to me, uh, tend to look uh, man-made. numbers tend to read as more natural in my opinion when you're dealing with like flowers and grass and all that stuff I don't know why but like if you put one grass tuft down on your base it's like that's okay if you put two down it's like that looks weird and then if you put three down you're like mm, good stuff <laughs> I do also have like epic basin resin bits but Let's just mess with the brass stuff because we haven't yet. Gotta gotta keep messing with all this basing garbage that I have. A hey, guy next is also very good. Um, and then uh, another favorite uh, director, like Studio Ghibli, it, their stuff is always just magnificent to look at. Um, and then Makoto Shinkai, who did like Your Name and Weathering with You. He's got a new one coming out that looks cool, but like every frame from his movies is just like a painting. And it's probably pretty basic, but uh, Your Name is definitely one of my favorite movies. topic of Studio Trigger. If you haven't seen Promare, you should watch Promare. It's amazing. Just A+. Plus. <laughs> uh, Mamoru Hosada. I don't know if I'm familiar. But yeah, I'm a huge Ghibli fan. I got the box collection of Miyazaki's films. Well, he's making another one now, so it's not going to be complete anymore. But <laughs> all of his films that he has done before, after the, what, fourth time he retired? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm familiar. Okay. I still need to watch those, but... Did he do uh, the new one, Bell, as well? It's like the Beauty and the Beast mix? Or is that someone else? Because I've been listening to the soundtrack for that a lot. Because uh, it's it slaps. Put this like there. Okay, I think that's good to start with. Um, so let's yolo and glue them on, and then we'll we'll hand paint on the primer, and we'll hit it with a hairdryer, and hopefully you can just paint over it. Yeah. If you haven't listened to the soundtrack for that movie, you should check it out. We're here. Before I get too carried away with this, I'll go grab that art, the art book I was talking about real quickly. So, we are... book. Let's stop this down a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I got this when I went to Japan. Um, yeah, they just have like a really simple, clean style. Lots of bold colors. Um, like it a lot. What was this? Was this my receipt? I think so. Something. cool stuff it's been like it's just nice to have books of pretty pictures to flip through get some color inspiration for some stuff uh, especially like the the Tyler Jacobson one if you don't know who Tyler Jacobson is you are definitely probably familiar with his work because he did like the all the D&D book covers um, so sorry just getting messages 
And you also did like the, the Red Dragon DM screen that came out with 5th edition. That's his art. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. I think like, I've talked about it a lot with some people, but like the content of like Wizards of the Coast art for 5e isn't like always the most interesting. Um, let's turn this back. There we go. Um, like I think oftentimes it's very safe, but like they have really talented artists doing it, so. At least for D&D. I think Magic the Gathering has been like buck wild lately. <laughs> They're just kind of doing whatever the hell they want, it seems. And it's awesome. Come on. Just trying to carefully get some blue out. Probably would like drill a hole to put that in, but I'm not a smart man, so we're doing that. Or maybe I should be a smart man. Let's be a smart man. <laughs> so let's see if we can't drill a little hole to get this in. Do you, oh, uh, like the comic order? As you can see, I broke one of my drill bits. I'm very sad about that. So you can't just buy individuals. Sucks. I think if I trim off the side, this will be good. smart I would have done this step last night instead of on stream but I guess it's good to change up what we're doing instead of just doing little tweaks and such so we want it like there so let's just YOLO Stupid. Here we go. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of stuff. Feels a lot more secure, looks a lot better. Cool. 
So let's do that two more times. Yay! Everyone having fun? Of course you are. Let's clean up these leaves a little bit more, though. that okay that looks better almost <laughs> okay Let's make sure this isn't gonna conflict with her. I don't think it will. Yeah, she's way back. Okay, cool. So I don't think we even need to drill a hole for this one. Because you got all those rocks up there. Yeah, probably. That's what I was initially thinking, but like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the, the right idea would probably be to paint them when they're in here for the most part and then do touch-ups when you glue them on. But we're beyond that, we're here, so. No going back. case I can probably easily rip these out without too much issue. That's why you keep screwing them up. That's not terrible. Come on. Let's just put a little bit of glue. Enough. 
good. Decided to put even more on. <laughs> now let's see if we can't find them. So we don't need these anymore. Again, pro streaming. All right, sounds good, Keegan. Have fun. Well, or at least, hopefully, it's not too terrible. But I'll see you. See you around. Hopefully, we can do another hang in uh, the dirty pink water again at some point. let this primer cure for a while. So, mm, I know, eh, we're gonna use a different primer. We're gonna use a primer that I think will be a bit stronger, and it'll cure faster. So we rock bust out the uh, Vallejo NECA. We'll thin it a little bit so it's easier to brush on. to probably do these would be, um, yeah, paint them either on the sheet still or glue them to something like wax paper and paint them on there and then transfer them over. But if you're messing around with them for the first time, this is fine. I'll hit things with the hairdryer in a second once we get this first coat on. Probably do another coat.
why I'm using this Vallejo primer instead of the Pro Curl. It's just, in my experience, this primer can be a little bit tougher. So it's good for putting on like little metal things. This generally primer has a tough time sticking around on metal. Um, and I can generally prime it hit with the hair dryer and then get painting on top of it. Um, the reason why I like the Pro Curl primer though is I think it makes a nicer painting surface than this video stuff does. Also, it's uh, the Vallejo stuff is kind of a pain in the butt to clean out of the airbrush, whereas the uh, Pro Curl stuff is generally pretty easy. Like anytime I prime with the Vallejo stuff in the airbrush, it's for sure means I have to do a deep clean of my airbrush. For Pro Curl, I can just kind of do my normal, my normal shtick. Hair dryer. Okay, let's do one more coat just to be safe. You know, it's not like these are gonna get a lot of action. <laughs> not to get primer on this running area, but if it touches it in a few places, it's not the end of the world. Okay, there's that hair dryer one more time. Thanks for the resub, Diana. Welcome back. What were you up to? You want up on the bed, bud? Let's move the art book soon. You guys see that? There you go. We got a boy. All right, so now we got that on there. We hair dried it, so it should be fine. Paint on. Let's move her somewhere else for now. Let's move that there. Let's grab the wet palette again. Oh, nice. Yeah, the new new camera setup is is nice. Uh, I think it helps to not uh, use digital because like with my phone, I had the digital zoom in. So I think that's A, one of the reasons why it's not so crisp, and also be like a higher quality glass and all that stuff. So. So for 
Sardis, we got that black base on there, on those little leaves, so let's uh, make them less dark for our other cards to go over so that it's more vibrant. So we're just gonna quickly paint them white. Hope that everything sticks. It seems like it is so far. Hooray. Artemis, yeah. Yeah. This is her base. And once we're done with this, I may glue her on and like do some touch ups before I like, call her done, done, but like just get her on there so that. Initially, I was thinking about putting some animals and stuff on here as well, but I don't know. Let's just keep it relatively simple. I can really get like the animals to fit with her. Try this real quickly. He is a silly boy. Do you like that or do you hate it? I can't tell. But you keep coming back for more. Silly boy. Alrighty. Oh, uh, yes, you can. I have no idea how, like, uh, good their deal is, um, but like that's how they get their used gears, people sell it to them and then they sell it. Like you can probably get more trying to sell it on your own, but I guess like they take care of the, you know, doing it, so. That's the other reason I want to glue her on is like my hairbrush a few things when she's on there. you read wrong. It doesn't show me which one you replied to.
Twitch chat is very weird in terms of like how it deals with replies and such, and like sometimes it shows you what it's replying to and sometimes it doesn't. It's very dumb. Verdict on these is I think they had a nice little variety, so I'll keep using these sort of little brass things in the future. I do need to figure out a better way to clean them up because there's like little bumps on them. Um, are you moving in less than a week? Nice. the last few days so good time to move well good or bad time to move bad time because generally when the weather gets nicer rent gets more expensive for people moving in the best time to uh, start your lease is generally in the winter here Yeah, so these little things are little uh, photo etched uh, brass things. I just put them away so I won't grab them, but it's just like a flat sheet and then you pop them out and uh, paint them. Okay, let's see what happens if we do a little instant paint some. Them. Zucchini skin. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Something back here just to tie everything together a little bit more. Yeah. She does kind of block a lot of the base, but yeah, I, I get like it would help tie things together because it's very much like front and back right now. Um, so maybe like one there and there would be good, but I'm lazy. So <laughs> this is good enough. <laughs> For now. the vein that they've got on them and just add a little bit of variation and just I guess tone them down just a smidge as well this was the right call um so props to diddy for choosing these 
Um, but because I think I think there was just like a little bit too much flatness, and like that's something that I've had on feedback on bases for things before is like too much dead space and like nothing going on. So it's important to add like make use of your space and add interesting things. Second to drive, let's just see how she looks on it. Oh yeah. Way better now, right? Right. Yeah, like maybe one back here would have been good. Um, anything there would have been a little obscure, but maybe you could have seen it, but I think it's fine. It's a good experiment. I, just, I, I wanted to use at least some sort of foliage thing, I think, on it. Um, of those, like, either the vellum things or the brass photo etch stuff, because I've had them for a bit, but I haven't actually used them, so it's good to finally use them. But yeah, they look fine. So let's uh, take stock of her one more time. Let's bring this up. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm still not jazzed with her eyes, but I don't know, I just hate painting 75 mil eyes. They're, they're big enough where like you have to do something with them, and then, but they're small enough that it's hard. Oh, we can tell. He's all snuggly. Little man. Um, yeah. I think that's a good place to call it on her. So I'll... I'll I'll glue her. I'll take some look at her after stream. Uh, I'm not ending the stream just yet. We'll, we'll decide what to work on next. Um, maybe start working on it. But how long are you going? Yeah, under two hours. Yeah, we can go for a while longer. I might get a snack and then come back. Um, yeah, let's uh, glue her on. second start thinking about what's next so we got we got the other archer chick the 54 millimeter one um, we got some busts we got some other 75 mil things we can do some marble chibis I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll grab the options and uh Stream. Let's uh, do some of that airbrushing I was thinking about, or talking about, thinking, talking about. Thanks. Well, let's uh, see if we screw up the airbrushing before we say awesome job just yet. Standing. 
So this golem gray is almost like a Payne's gray. Uh, so I like it a lot for going in and adding shadow to things. This is very uh, thin. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to bust out that moss stuff again in just a second to uh, put some here. doing that. <laughs> which is somewhere. Okay. 
Oops, I put that in the wrong spot. Okay. Let's grab moss. Get it nice and shook. vent in the room. There we go. <laughs> I will vent on the bottom of my windowsill that I can reach with my foot, so that's why I did that. The more you know. This stuff is, I'm a big fan of this stuff. Uh, and then I mentioned it earlier, but they also make the rust stuff, uh, which is what I was asking uh, Diddy about, um, which we used on that part there, just to try it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, it smells <laughs> a little bit, so make sure you uh, have a nice ventilated space when you're using it. And uh, yeah. And it's also kind of pricey, but I think the moss stuff is worth it because I haven't really seen anything can do like this. Rust you can kind of do on your own, but if, you, if you're doing a lot of rust on like an army or something, well, I guess if you're doing an army, it's gonna be expensive, but like if you're doing like a little rusty bits on a lot of things, uh, this might be worth picking up. You can also buy like a gallon sized jug of it or something, but that's expensive because I think it's like a lot of cosplayers use it or something. There we go. Anyways. Cool. There's Artemis. Uh, I'll see if I do any touch-ups on her, on her before I take pictures uh, later on today. Yeah. Oh wait, I know what we can do. Uh, the victory strokes. And then we can look at next projects. tried something different this time. I didn't like, a lot of times I'm very particular about getting the side on like any sort of thing I sculpt above the base, super smooth with the base. Um, but this time I wanted to uh, be a little lazier and see how it ends up looking. Because normally that means repainting the base. And it's like I just paid for a nice like lacquered base and all that stuff. So it's like, why am I sanding it all and then painting it all? And it is nice of a finish, so whatever. We're gonna see if the lazy route is good enough. What you boofing at, Paul? I'll give you something to boof at.
Uh, so these shrubs, like the things in the back, I got in that Oliver Spath uh, Meadow box set. So I, uh, I think he lists what they are on his Etsy store, which is Honor Guard. Um, they're probably like Mini Nature or Pollock or something like that. Um, but if you're looking for like a nice variety of basing things, uh, his his little box sets are like a good sampler. Like it's if you know what you want it's better to just buy what you want like in the bigger packaging because you just kind of get a little sampler but this is like a nice little way to um get a bunch of stuff to try out because I, I, I like the, the thing that sucks kind of hard to get shrubs this size in the states like I've not really found a store that sells stuff like this that's based in the states like all the model railways like is your best bet and they all sell like the really tiny scale stuff um, yeah uh, he, he's the one who also makes the cool little 3d printed animals uh, if you have a 3d printer you can just buy the STLs but if you don't he sells 3d prints and he's very good at 3d printing like his stuff is top notch like a lot of mini companies actually have him print the masters for them um, like the, they are the, the best 3d prints i've ever seen like granted i have not seen many so take that with a grain of salt i guess but STLs, you, there's a tier on his Patreon where you can get the STLs as well, because he's coming out with new ones monthly, including like some tiny diorama terrain things. He's been doing lots of Harry Potter themed ones, which whatever, but if that's your thing, cool. Uh, epic basing, um, same kind of deal. You can buy 3D prints from them or you can buy the STLs. Um, I, I can show you what the 3D prints look like in a second, because I like basing things and collecting basing things, even though I don't always use all of it. Uh, I, for some reason, I just have this thing where I'm like, well, maybe someday I'm going to need a manhole cover or something, so let me just buy some. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna die that. It started with uh, grass tufts and now we got all sorts of shit. Okay. Yeah. Like, if I were smart, I'd figure out a way to get a 3D printer set up because like buying 3D prints is like, very uneconomical, uh, rather than just printing it yourself. But I, I don't, I don't think I can like safely set one up in my current living arrangements. Um, oops. I gotta just be kind of worried about Poe or as getting into it, or if I spill something, ruining things, and yada yada yada. So. Let me grab the uh, epic basing stuff. Yeah, 
yeah, attack a box of just stuff from them. Oh, this is this is from a, an extra thing I got from Terra Model Maker when I ordered a plinth. They gave me a Santa Knight head thing because they make custom bits for 4 UK too. So I just have that. And I guess I have the pumpkins from uh, my works in here as well. But they got little shrooms of different varieties. They have like more fantastical looking ones. They're kind of big, they're like 32 mil scale, but they're kind of big for 32 mil. So I've used these on uh, the Barbarian from um, Terrible Kid stuff. And then I think these are from Alien Lab or something. Uh, another variety of shrooms. I like these the best, um, just because that's, that's my shroom aesthetic. Um, yeah, we got Saguaro Cacti. We got some trees. We got some rocks. Cool rock formations. Uh, we got smaller cacti. Some like uh, prickly pears, I guess, maybe. No, it's not that. We got some barrel cacti as well. Love, love me some barrel cacti. And then all sorts of like little, oh, here's, here's a prickly pear. There we go. Uh, and all sorts of like succulents and little things. They, they keep coming out with more stuff. They also have like underwater things. So we got some like agave, um, which I haven't bought any of because I don't have any need for that. But I guess if you have like Ideneth Deepkin, um, that might be useful for you. And like the little, these were the, these were the things I was thinking about putting on there. Um, yeah, they got coral uh, and all sorts of stuff. And like this stuff paired with the coral would look pretty cool. And I think they just added urban stuff recently. Oh, and speaking of shrooms, they got, uh, no, not that one, this one. They got little tree stumps with shrooms on them. <laughs> yeah, ba so like ba basing is like, I, I very much enjoy it, like, because there's so many things you can do. I think it's one of the more expensive aspects of the hobby, but like, the thing is just like, start small and like, buy things as you need them and you can apply them to more and more projects. I mean, that's roughly how I've gone about it. Though every now and then I just like stock up on a bunch of stuff that I'm like, that looks useful to have someday. Um, just cause and I don't want to be in a situation where I'm like, I want to do X, but I don't have the things to do X. Um, so I've, I'm, I'm good in that regards. So, uh, yeah. And then I've talked about them before, but I like Julia's stuff a lot. Um, like the little bricks and things. Um, it's neat. But yeah. So that's Epic Basing. They have cool stuff. Their Instagram's worth the follow too. Um, they, they do lots of cool things. They did like a bunch of Kingdom Death figures with like cool bases. Uh, like some kit bashes of them. So it's pretty neat. Like they did like, they did like Pokemon trainers with like the armor kits. It's cool. Here, while we're looking at my shame, these are my other bits boxes of stuff. So I got like some lumber and pipes and bars and like the crackle place from GW. Some pipes for whatever reason, windows, scale chain and wire, gravestones, heads. Uh, and then this is just like all sorts of shit. So. Yep, exactly. Yeah, like if you buy like lots of GW kits, always keep your bits because you can find them uh, handy for other stuff, right? So, but yeah. And then this is like Chewila, so while, we, while we're looking through there. So this is like 112 scale bricks because I want big fat bricks in my order. So, good stuff. And they also sell a lot. Oh no! <laughs> We're good, we're good. Uh, they sell these things called Flexway. So they sell individual bricks so you can do whatever you want with them, but they also sell like uh, sheets of the bricks already made up. Um, so like this, so it's like a bun big sheet and you can just lay it down and put some mortar in between it and be good. Uh, and they sell all sorts of different scales, which is cool. Um, this kind of shows you how it all works. But these are like those kind of, uh, I guess like the Roman sort of, do how I don't know, but for uh, 
54 mil scale, but this could also definitely work for a 75 mil scale. Quite large for a 32, but I think they sell these in 32 as well. So, yeah. Big fan of their stuff. Yeah, there used to be sellers for these in the US. Secret Weapon used to distribute this stuff. Uh, Noble Knight has some of their stuff, but like the stock is kind of iffy. So again, it's another case of gotta go to Europe. Maybe I should just move to uh, the Netherlands. They got public transport that doesn't suck. And yeah. Okay. Let's talk about, so we got Artemis. Pending final review, she is done. Um, here. Let's just take this off and see how everything looks. You can see that I added my grass after the fact and it's all stuck there. I know, yeah, I know a couple guys in the Netherlands uh, from the uh, Kingdom Death Discord. Um, it seems like a nice place. It seems like they have like their infrastructure figured out. <laughs> yep. Like, it's like, like even down to silly things, like how they do trash just seems like, well, that's way smarter, right? So in like North America and like a lot of places, like everyone has their own individual trash cans that they put their trash in, which like from a convenience standpoint, like they put it out to the curb, which from like a convenience standpoint is like somewhat nice, I guess. Like you don't have to like go far to throw out your trash, right? But then it's like from a sanitary standpoint and like a wildlife standpoint, it kind of sucks. Um, Cause you know, raccoons can get into those cans really easily and get make messes everywhere. Um, yes, yes. Been watching, watching lots of Not Just Bicycles. <laughs> if you don't watch Not Just Bicycles, I highly recommend it. It's a great YouTube channel. Um, like in the other ones, like, you don't do it everywhere, so a lot of places have, like, individual trash cans still for homes. But, like, they've been doing it more and more places where, like, on each block, essentially, there's a shared trash can where you just take your trash bag and throw it out. Um, but it's not like the big dumpsters in America where it's, like, a pain in the butt to use and nasty and stinky. It's just, like, a trash can you open up, you put it in, and then it's, like, this huge thing under the ground. Um, uh... Uh, where like whenever it gets full a uh, dumpster truck comes and picks it up so like it's all kind of contained and like wildlife can't get into it and it's not smelly and stinky and it's easy to use um, yep exactly or like like you can either leave it open in which case it's just stinky everywhere or you have to like open it up yourself which is a pain in the butt like because it's super heavy and like you got a trash bag in one hand and like you're trying to open it up and it's just it's a nightmare. That's how my college apartment was set up. We had like a, a dumpster. We had to throw everything in. It was just a goddamn nightmare. Um, but yeah. yeah, there's a business parks video, which is like, uh, if you've ever, like my dad, like run, ran his own company and such. So like I helped him move to like a bunch of different terrible business parks by the airport um, <laughs> when I was a kid. Uh, and it's just like, like seeing how the Netherlands does it in comparison is just like fury. <laughs> and like, I think that video really like, like the video is partially about business parks, but also just like transit in general. Cause like he was able to just easily take public transit to the business park, which you can't really do in America anywhere. Um, and it's just like, Oh, he waits like two minutes for a train where it's like here if you miss a train you're waiting like 10 15 minutes and that's like during rush hour um like maybe seven minutes during like busy day during the week um it's just yeah yep yeah like the the, the whole like one of the cruxes of the video is just like a lot of other countries are just like the car first and everything is like tertiary right like in America, we chose in the 40s that everything should be based around the car. Because, um, you know, car lobbyists lobby for it. Uh, where everywhere else, it's like everything is like first class. Like they treat public transit 
like as its own separate thing and like making sure it has right away because like it doesn't make sense where we have buses here and they get stuck in the same traffic as cars so it's like something that's carrying a hundred people is stuck in the same traffic as something carrying one person it's it's dumb <laughs> like you ask americans about public transport and most of them think like they don't want to take it because our public transport sucks so much in comparison but like going somewhere with good transit like the netherlands or in my case i went to japan um like oh this is how it could be if we like actually gave a shit about it instead of i don't know giving idiots billions of dollars to develop some bullshit uh hyperloop thing that's never going to work or a stupid tunnel for your cars under the ground that's a giant fire hazard if we i don't know just build some trains yeah yeah la la is a nightmare like, even, like, Seattle, like, we have okay transit, but, like, it still sucks. Like, you, like, if you want to get anywhere in any reasonable time, you need a car. And that's, like, not the case in other places. In other places, oftentimes, like, transit or walking makes more sense. Um, anyway, sorry, that's my, that's my normal I want trains rant. Um, yeah, like... I'm totally cool with people driving. Like, I'm not saying, like, everyone should take trains all the time. I'm just saying it sucks that you don't have a choice in America. There's also a good, uh, so another good YouTube channel that I've been watching a lot lately is, uh, Climate Town. And he has a good video on, like, car lobbyists and, like, how he got into this situation in America. Trains are great. Love trains. That's my, my TED talk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just rubbing off all the adhesive from that. I don't know why I keep using that blue painter's tape. It always leaves adhesive behind on these bases or peels things off. Uh, well, I do know why. It's because I'm cheap. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to use my fancy tummy yet. Yeah, imagine if like we lived in a place where it's like, oh, the gas is now five bucks a gallon. I guess I can just take the train instead because it's just as fast and the prices remain the same. Or like a, everyone lives near a supermarket and you don't have to drive nine hours to it. So that means you can shop kind of daily to get what you need. I always, I always think it's funny when people are like, oh, we can't do that in America. And it's like, yes, we could. We really could. It's just our zoning laws are shit. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's not as nice as some of my other bases. Um, yeah. There's, there's another good. So there's, uh, if you, if you want to get really into it, and you're like. This is interesting. Uh, so the Not Just Bikes channel has a good series called Strong Towns, um, which I highly recommend watching. Uh, it gets into like a lot of like why things are the way they are in America and how they could be better. Like there's a couple good videos from that, which is basically like how the suburbs are a Ponzi scheme, which is like, oh, okay, this is worse than I thought. Uh, and um, the other one is Strode's, um, yeah. So those, those two are like the highlights of that series, but the whole series is worth watching. It's like seven, 10 minute video, so a little over an hour. Um, yep, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of cities used to have street cars and all that kind of stuff and like be more integrated. Similar to like how Toronto still is um, in some parts, but we tore them all up because of car lobbyists. Anyways, you know, I'm gonna put her aside. So projects we can work on. I don't think I want to do this on stream because I think it's going to be not fun to watch uh, about the sculpting of this and I also think I need to not be on stream while I do it just because of thinking and all that stuff. So 
we will probably work on the painting of this whole project on stream when I get there, but the base building uh, I kind of need to just do on my own, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is, this is where we are at on this project. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, so I think, I don't remember if, I, I think I showed this on. No, because I haven't streamed. So I glued the door in. I don't think this was glued last time. And then I had leftover putty from uh, the Kingdom Death Relay project that I'm not allowed to post on socials because we're keeping it secret. Um, so use that to start filling in the space around it. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, some of it's cars and some of it's other reasons, which is the, the other reasons for many things in America. But we, I'll not get into that. <laughs> okay. And here, I'll just grab a bunch of projects that we can start working on can decide together. on Elf Archers and paint her, if that's how we're feeling. Um, we can just knock out the rest of the chibis for the next couple of streams, uh, so that they're done before the rest of them get here. Or, we can work on this boy. door <laughs> a little bit I guess uh, I like I saved I saved Mag Mag Magneto for like one of the last ones because I think he's really cool uh, but yeah I, I get that vibe I mean most superheroes do right that's the whole point uh, we can work finally work on big boosty lady or uh, sword lady uh, did I show this one yet I don't think so continue working on some Hera model stuff and work on this guy. Or we got her from Kensho Models. Yeah. Do we want to do some more sci-fi? What else do we got? I got some like broken in or not broken in, but Camelot figures, but I haven't figured out the basis for them just yet. The base idea I had for Sir Kay wasn't panning through. Um, neon light effects, yeah. Uh, so we could work on one of these guys. But uh, maybe I'll save one of these for uh, the big child contest thing. They're very dusty because uh, they've been sitting there for a bit. So I have this one I'm still figuring out the base on. But which would be cool. But again, need to figure out the base. Again there. So I can't start that right now. Oh, if we want to do a simple bust. Uh, just like an easy project. Yeah, those are those two figures are from Ares Mythologic. Um, yeah, I'm thinking some sort of forest. I was going debating between like forest or desert. Uh, I need to figure out like what she's sitting on for starters. Yeah. Um, like the, the figure came with a rock, but I didn't like how it looked, so I yeeted it. Um, so I'm, I'm, the 
probably not do it. I don't know if I can sculpt a stump, but we'll see. I guess I could sculpt something stump shaped and then put some like crackle paste over it to give it like the cracked bark look. We'll see. I'll, I'll play with that tonight. Um, there's also this one from Bold Miniatures that was 3D printed for me by uh, Griggy. If you want an easy little project. All right, let's not do booby lady because uh, I don't know, Deno just painted it. So I'll, I'll save this for later. I don't like painting things like right after other people paint them. <laughs> it's too stressful. That's one of the reasons why a uh, little pin up, uh, pin up butcher has been sitting there for a while because I primed her and got her ready to go. And then uh, Zero, who's a really good painter for Kingdom Death, uh, has been sitting there for a while. <laughs> so, let's see. So we got one vote for neon cyberpunk stuff. I'll paint her at some point, but um, it'll be a bit. Uh, so we got one, one vote, vote for cyberpunk. Any other, any other votes? I'll probably just work on these guys off stream. People not caring too much for chibis. So, are you gonna focus? Hello? Can't focus on Magneto. I can focus on Wolverine. I guess he's kind of focused. Anyways. Yeah. That's totally cool. Uh, what's RIP? I also have this guy sitting on my shelf forever as evidenced by the dust. Um, me. Me. Not me. Yeah, the, the, yeah, Lumineth dude, yeah. Yeah, I regret not doing it in sub-assemblies. <laughs> I should have kept them. Like the issue is it was really hard to get it in like sensible sub-assemblies because of like how integrated everything is. I wasn't sure if I could glue it uh, together. Um, I've seen a lot of really cool paint jobs with this though. Um, I believe, I think Jose Da Vinci did one recently and Craft World's been working on one for a while. Yeah, I like the design, but yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on. I think it's gonna be like the reason why I got it is because I think he's cool. Um, and like most of the stuff is reachable with him put together, so it's not terrible. I think it's just gonna be this like stuff that's gonna be kind of a pain. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I want to do like leave him on a gaming base or do something more with him, but. I don't know. We also have like, I don't want to assemble anything right now. I, I should work on things that are on the shelf because there's so much garbage on the shelf right now. So I'm not gonna, not gonna open up the drawer for options. Um, these could be good. Maybe I'll hold off on her uh, just cause in case I can't think of anything for Camelot, she'll be my big child project next month. All the ferns. Yeah. I mean, for this one, this one could be good with a bunch of ferns on it. All sorts of shrubbery if we go with a foresty thing. I think the idea is like they're by a campsite or something or getting ready for heading out on the day. Uh, so yeah. I got I got a bunch of other 54 mil minis that I'm still sorting out. That's what I was for. Anyways. So her or him. Maybe we work on him. One of these could be. Are you gonna focus? There you go. We just did Hera, so let's not do him. We might just save her for like. 
do like a single session painting kind of thing, see if I can speed paint a bust. That might be good. And then... So let's let's do let's do a sci-fi next. You like the orc dude? The ogre dude? I do have the orc dude as well, but he's not put together. Um, we could do the orc ogre guy. I need to prime him though. Um, yeah, I really, I really like so him and the the orc guy. Yeah, I can, I'll grab the orc guy. Um, we're not gonna work on him because he's not assembled. I gotta work on things that are on the shelf first. <laughs> I've, I've put a good dent in my shelf recently, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, but ochre guy, or orc guy. He is in here somewhere. <laughs> Behind all these minis. Nope, not that one. This is a cool figure from Mindworks. Um, it's based on a Brahm uh, painting, well, this painting, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, uh, so here's, here's the orc guy. They have a 75 mil figure of him now. Um, yeah, Hera, Hera does this fun thing where it's like, they give out playing cards. All their figures, and I think eventually their goal is to have a full deck. Um, yeah, this work guy is awesome. Let me just go. Boop. He has the option of an axe or a shield, I think. So he can have a big old axe on his back, or I thought he had a shield option, but maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm thinking of another figure. Am I crazy? Oh, that's why he looks funny. He's supposed to have teeth. <laughs> Could have sworn he had something else. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, he can either have a big old shield on his back or he can have that uh, big old axe on his back. Somehow this goes in. I need to be shaved down. Or maybe it just goes like that. I don't know. I would figure it out later. But yeah, hair is really fun. So let's get this all back in here. Freehand on the shield could be an option. These are two others that I grabbed from them. Um, CV and uh, Rahel? I like Rahel a lot. She's cool. Denno did like a, a blue themed paint job of her. But yeah, their, their casting is just really crisp. Uh, the details are fun. I think some of their designs are a little like not my thing. Like they get a little too chaosy I guess um, but uh, yeah the, the, ones, the ones I picked up I like a lot hence why I picked them up so good stuff so let's set these aside She's interesting as well. But anyways, 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this not on stream right now. Let's set that aside. So we decided, oops. Oh, wait, why am I adjusting this? I just need to turn the light back on. There we go. Get the focus, there you go. Yeah, I have too many minis. <laughs> I have problems, okay? The first step's admitting it, right? And then the second step is just keep leaning into it. That's that's the rule, right? Um, I'll, I'll do her in a project or two, uh, since we just did Elf Archer Lady. But I should probably try to get her done before uh, Cult the paint competition, so I can just enter it in there. Let's see if I get a. Yeah, I got a whole bag of stuff <laughs> for you. I got a bag of paints and some older minis um, that you can either use or throw out. Uh, let's hold off on her. We have one. We have one vote for Cyberpunk Man. One vote for Ogre Man. Um, yeah, because you, you were talking about doing it uh, around when I started streaming. I think right. Just around a year now. I think I did like some test streams in like February just to see if things worked, and then started streaming more consistently in around this time. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. So. We, we need a tiebreaker. Diana, which one do you want to see? Here, I'll let you I'll let you decide while I go get some water because I just realized I don't have any water. And a snake. Suit man it is. So we won't prime him just yet. All right. So let's start off dusting him off. Trying to look at some reference for this guy a little while ago. Uh, 
uh, so it was like a Blade Runner movie kind of stuff, and then also I was looking at some like Yakuza kind of films. Um, there's one from like last year called Yakuza Princess that had some lighting and some shots. debating between like a blue or a or I guess we want like warm and cold lighting in there we can try messing around with that some let's see so I think what I'm going to start off with is just getting a blue tone everywhere for starters so uh, let's airbrush that and I will wear my mask and turn on the computer uh, Purifier for that because it's going to be a lot. Let's actually grab. Change things up and use some skill artist. And there's my pressure blue. Thank you. We'll work on Ogre Guy soon. Um, I don't think this project will take quite as long as Artemis did, hopefully. Last words, probably. Right. Getting things reorganized on my desk. Let's see. Well, at least get the um, under painting kind of going on this um, so we can start getting ideas for how this project will progress um, I don't know how much farther we'll get on that today Let's see, it's too, I mean I don't have to do anything for the rest of the day so I mean I can just keep painting for a while but we'll see how we're feeling Every day, every day. Let's see.
Let's grab this sofa that we got recently. more opaque. Sure.
Let's try something a little crazy, maybe. Worst case, we paint over. Once I'm done airbrushing, I'm gonna go clean off my wet palette, empty my water cup and all that stuff. Um, just let the, air, the room air out a little bit. And also so we have a nice fresh palette to work off of. Quit the camera. Alright, I'm going to go clean off my wet palette and water cup and all that stuff and I will be right back. Okay. Oops. Works better if I'm in the right bag. You ready?
Okay, and we're back. So, just laid down some lights. I want to mess around with like the two light sources kind of thing, warmer light, colder light, um, that I've been seeing a lot lately. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm de debating like how strong I want these lights to be like, should everything just kind of primarily be this blue? Am I done painting the bus now? Who knows? Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I think we should add some like actual color into it. But let's think about where to start. Skin tone is generally a good idea. I think that will kind of help us set the scene a bit. So let's do that. Let me take some pictures of this first, so I don't lose them. different stuff in terms of skin color. See how that goes. paints another another chance <laughs> the uh, expansion set at least since we started figuring them out a little bit on the last model let's get our favorite two 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 to the ding red photos on instagram crisp uh like the photos that I post or the photos that I view? What you mean? We're just getting all the colors out. I mean, I take my photo, like, are you taking the photos in Instagram and then posting them? Or are you taking photos elsewhere and then like when you post them up, they look soft? I haven't really noticed much of a difference, but I'm also not like pixel peeping on my photos because it's Instagram and they're always going to be kind of a little off. It's a new project, which means new paper towel. So I've still not found a uh, good reusable solution for this. Mm. 
I mean, I haven't noticed that. I didn't notice that with Mystique. Like here, we can we can pop in to Mystique. We have notifications. Why do we have notifications? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, doesn't look too blurry. That looks fine. So. Like how how blurry is blurry? Okay, here I'll take a look at your last pick. I won't talk to your Instagram. Isn't that blurry on mine? It's pretty sharp to me. Or as sharp as I was ex would expect from Instagram, because they do like, uh, um, what should we call it? Blanking on the words. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Let's paint. Where did I put it? See if it goes away when we paint over it. Okay. I don't know why I'm painting him on this. Why didn't I put him on the thing? Let's put him on the thing. <laughs> Will he fit on the thing? We're about to find out. I don't know, I put them too far, I think. Oh, maybe. Might be good. Is he too tall, though? I mean, that was my face. This is my head. <laughs> or, like, did you have a blackout and lost power? Oh, okay. Yikes. Pretty big head.
Any idea why the blackout happened or just like normal California, LA problems? does not continue. There we go. Look at our boy. Chicken and mushroom sauce. Moist. Best of luck. Good side dish. I don't know, some sort of vegetable. I get some asparagus going or something. Also, just a forewarning, I have no idea what I'm doing with the skin tones yet, so. We're gonna experiment together. Yeah, asparagus would be good. Yeah, or just like a simple salad.
probably go back in later and add. Yeah, is it, he's, so this is from Ouroboros. Uh, he's like something. Here, let me look up the name of the model real quickly. And I can change the stream title to that. Ouroboros Miniatures. Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Our Ouroboros. There we go. Cyberpunk. This is Kumicho from Ouroboros Miniatures. Let's see, edit stream info. Ouroboros. <laughs> Kumicho. Yeah, he's like a cyberpunky cyber dude. He's got like the this sort of uh, metal stuff around him on his throat, similar to like the chef, but a little bit more involved. And he's got his cool eye. So fun stuff. Go back to that. But they have a, a few cool cyberpunk uh, figures. I have a couple other ones as well from when I bought them. sale and everything was like 50% off and I've been looking at their stuff for a while so I decided to stock up What's up with all them? What's up with all the fantasy figures on the market? <laughs> you just mean like lately or? Cyberpunk's just like it's a it's a niche genre that's getting like more popular, right? I think like the aforementioned Blade Runner, probably uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Yeah, well, like there was the Cyberpunk game uh, that finally came out. That was whatever. probably had a lot of influence on it like anime is getting more popular and a lot of that has cyberpunk stuff going on so Okay, we're still messing around. five figures because it's nice to take a break from fantasy stuff every once in a while and paint a 
up something different. to see that like Loot Studio started that sci-fi thing uh, in addition to their fantasy. And hopefully more people follow suit. John to see in a bit. <laughs> direction I want to go. Just keeping everything very loose 
for the time being while I figured it out. Semantle. Oh, the, uh, the semantics wordle. How does that, I mean, I guess I could just go look it up to see how it works. Yeah, I'm glad I have freed myself of wordle. It was fun for a bit. And then it was not. <laughs> I still felt the need to keep going because I had a streak and then I finally broke the streak by failing and I was free. Yep. <laughs> That's how they get you. Uh, for a while, I viewed it like Wordle specifically as like a good like get the brain going for the day kind of thing, um, but I don't know. <laughs> After a while, it became too much, similar to like the threes or ten twenty four. What's a good mini stuff coming out? Or like Kickstarter's a mini stuff coming out in the next week ish or so. A lot of people are jazzed about the new Necromunda box um, with the fleas and such. <laughs> uh, Rivenstone is in two days. I think. I don't know if they're still going. They, they might be done right now because Rivenstone's a relatively short game, but. Min John and Miniac were playing over on the Broken Anvil channel. I'm gonna put on the VOD for that after I'm done streaming. Camera's still going on. I think I know what I'm gonna get from that now. I think I'm just gonna get the mounted ones. The, uh, the mounted dude and girl on the horse. Horses. two that I would be sad to not get, so. Mostly because I haven't seen anything quite like that. gotten rid of that blue light on his skin, but I 
we'll be adding it back to a degree. I don't know, I'm just kind of trying to figure out like how, how blue I want things versus how much skin tone I want. Because I don't really want it to just be uh, that blue. Like, I think one way to take this model would have been like very much like very, keep it very monotone. Like maybe these two light sources very similar to um, we were looking at a while ago when Keegan was asking about it. Um, let me grab it just for context. Isn't it back here or is it further up? Yes. Very similar to this figure by Kirill. Um, I could have kept it relatively just based on the OSL. I don't think that's one option to do with this piece, but I, I want like some some skin tone and like natural colors. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that model though, so that's from Robot Rocket. Um, uh, they are going to be doing some restocks soon. Uh, so they have a Facebook post about it, and if you'd like comments on which ones they want, they're gonna tag you when it's up for grabs. Um, I know there's a few models of theirs that have been out of print for a long time that I've been wanting to try to get, so I'm excited. It seems like they found a caster that can like finally make time for them, so that's good, because they were us they used to use Broken Toad for a lot of their stuff, and I think Broken Toad uh, seems to just kind of look Decide a fun color for the eye itself. There's always red, but I'm wondering if something else might be better. And by eye, I mean this eye. Whoops. Focus, please. There you go. for any sort of airbrushing. That's where we'll call it for today. Since I still gotta go fold laundry. Thank you. 
He could be bronze. Yeah, I guess like he's got some of those vibes, right? With the, the blue shadows. Yeah, I think so like the I think the two main things to figure out the color for are the eye and then the suit itself. For a while I was thinking of like a gold suit sort of thing, but it, it might be a little a little much. I think maybe a more understated dark suit might be the way to go. Um, I've been wanting to experiment with this like warm lighting, cold lighting thing because like I said, I've seen it, a lot of people do it, especially in minis lately. Uh, but I saw like a post from a more traditional artist um, mentioning like how an easy way to make your figures look more realistic is to have this like cold lighting on one side, warm lighting on another. it look more realistic but from looking at examples I would have to say that I agree to that is I think that oftentimes I default to warm highlight cold shadow so I think for this piece trying to do the opposite might be a good exercise right now. Oops, that's a bit too much. Let's just spread it out. Not worrying about being too clean on his his head, uh, top of his head, just because um, airbrush is gonna help clean all that up. <laughs> Thank you. 
the thing, the direction where it's going. Slowly. Be surely. for Nurgle. Yeah, you just want, like, grim grimy boys. I mean, you could always do something crazy. Like, I've seen some cool uh, Nurgly things done with, like, crazy colors and such. Um, you also make them clean. Like, uh, have you seen, like, the de-chaosing uh, Chaos Space Marines or, like, the Nurgling Nurgles where they make them all smooth? It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to be a lot more mindful about color theory and such and thinking about the colors that I'm using. I should paint more GW stuff, probably. <laughs> oh, okay, there. there. Yeah, speaking of GW stuff, uh, Cult of Paint slash Andy Wardle put out a nice video yesterday, I want to say, where he kind of walks through his uh, Golden Demon pieces. It's pretty good.
you have like family mini painting time or like uh just gonna do it individually or see what that'd be fun everyone's sitting down painting minis i'd like to do like an in-person like mini painting thing at a convention or something sometime that'd be fun Tax used to have the uh, Reaper Bones room, but they haven't had it the last few years they had Pax. They stopped having it when I got into mini painting. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> thanks guys. But the Seattle Convention Center has a whole new wing that should be there by the next time there's a Pax. Okay. Is it a war gaming club or is it like D and D or what have you? Yeah. I like those kinds of videos that uh, Andy posted. Uh, Dave Cowell's channel is full of them. Where it's just like walking through the pieces and like the thoughts on it. And that kind of stuff. Which I hope Dave is doing okay. I haven't seen him post anything in a while. and such again or now I don't know if they were ever a thing before so I didn't play D&D &D or anything until I started working and I played with some co-workers. And my dad was into it, but we never played. Outside of transit. <laughs> we, were, we already did the, the transit soapbox, I won't get into my other soapboxes today. without people needing to 
step in and provide it. getting where I wanted. He how the forehead looks but whatever for the top of his head looks but that's fine. Oh we're cleaned up. We start actually smoothing things out. Let's see. Almost friends was asking for me to do that so yeah I'll, I'll make sure to upload this one as well so here's Artemis it was like toilet I was like I hope the stream quality is okay uh, yeah then we picked a new project yay everyone loves new projects right right um, so hopefully it doesn't take too long I mean really it's just like the skin some men and then and the suit so, I don't see him taking for forever. Uh, hopefully he's like a week or so, and then we can maybe start something for the big child thing. Toilet. Yeah, well, I, I thought it was a toilet typo. <laughs> um, anyways. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go see if there's anybody on to stream, that, or to raid that we haven't raided before. Let's see, and then off stream, I can either start working on the, uh, the little project I need to do for uh, the KDM Discord rally thing, or um, my sculpting stuff. I'll, I'll probably do the sculpting stuff because I need to make progress on that. Or both, because I probably can't do sculpting for forever. 
Anyways, let me put that away. Okay, let's find somebody to raid. Let's see if there's anyone I'm following that's on. Oh, Broken Anvil's still going, but they have a lot of people. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> there's Scrub Angel Hobbies. What are they doing? They're playing Subnautica. Never mind. Let's find someone to go. Does Broken Anvil even allow raids? Yeah, it's Ninjana and Miniac, and they're still playing. Cool. Uh, but let's see if there's no one else. We'll go raid Broken Anvil, because why not? Um, if they allow raids, we'll find out. Otherwise, oh, what am I doing? Mini mature figures. There's Rainer. Jack of Clubs painting. Mantic Space Dwarf tank. Scenery Sunday with Studio J7. He's got a lot of people. Is there anyone who's got a small amount of people? Let's see. There's so many different people streaming right now because I'm early, ending earlier than normal. Uh, paint an Oryx. Thanks, Diana. Glad you could catch most of it. I won't say I'm gonna try to stream early all the time because it's not always feasible. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try to make a better effort for my week streams to start them not at 9 p.m. <laughs> uh, that's something I've been trying to do for a while and been failing, so uh, I'll try to do that. Um, but yeah, for this week, We'll see when I feel like streaming. You'll be on a train next Sunday? Nice. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next Sunday. Something. Uh, but yeah, I'll stream at least either Monday or Tuesday. Depends on which day I feel like it. Uh, and then Friday I should be good to stream like I normally do. Um, but... This person's painting Nurgles. This person's doing Death Guard. Anybody not doing Warhammer stuff? This guy's building Legos. That's pretty cool. Gundam. Usually Crypt has someone up his sleeve to go raid. But I'm guessing Crypt is asleep and or in a blackout again. That person's playing enemies. Let's... Do you want to watch Solway Studios? Uh, I see that one here. I have not seen them before. Let's see what, let's see what they're doing. Oh, they're doing a cool little bug! Yeah, let's go raid them. I like little mini cars. So, uh, I go over here, I click on the raid, and here we go. Thank you for the, the suggestion, Sammy. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, it was a, we did all sorts of things today, so hopefully it was interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, see y'all Monday or Tuesday, unless something pops up. So... Thanks for hanging out and being a good audience and chatting and all that good stuff. Four viewers are ready to raid. Let's go raid. Bye. Click. There we go. And then I go and I click this button and it ends the stream. Bye to the people who are still stuck here.